Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to do a movie review. Well, not all today, just for right now. Cause I got games to play. I got mo mo movies. I got things to show you guys, and yeah. But today's movie review is about Saw 3D. Saw 3D, I really like it, even though it's all like sweet. That's not a way to end one of the coolest horror films of all time. Especially by killing one of my favorite guys ever. Like, they're killing off, well, they kill off three of my favorite guys. The Hong, uh, Matthew, Detective Matthew, and Hawking. So, oh, if you, spoiler alert, if you do not want to get any spoilers, and I don't want to see it. If you're gonna watch Shaw 3D and don't know anything about the movie except for a Shaw movie, then of course don't want to see it. Um, so, um, basically what I really liked about the movie is that they brought Carrie Ellis back. Ellis. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a good intro to the movie that they brought like getting trapped back because uh Saw one the only intro was to bathroom. It was a good start for the movie franchise. Saw two had a beginning trap. Saw three didn't have a beginning trap, which I was angry of. Like did it? I don't think so. But um oh, no it didn't because it started off in the bathroom where Eric Matthews broke his foot and crawled out. Anyways, so before I had a beginning trap, I didn't like it that much because I would rather have it have like them both pulling and then at the end have them both be hung like like the director said it was. Like Darren Lynn Bowden said if they wouldn't get got into fight just yet, like then they would die. So, yeah. Um, hmm. What else? Oh, and I'm also going to be talking about my question about all of the movies. Like, it's so three. How would Detective Eric Matthews get up? Did Amanda shut the door all the way? Or was it unlocked? Because all I know is that there's no doorknob inside that bathroom. Like, Dr. Gorman was trying to push it open for them to leave in the first one, but, they, but it didn't work because the door wasn't open. And somehow Eric Matthews broke his foot, got out of her ankle, and without cutting off his foot, and he dragged his way out of the door somehow. Is he like a ghost? <laughs> um, what else? It would be cool to have like in Saw Six, like the like in the film movie after the previous one. It would show how the people got there, like. Saw two. There was like eight or nine people in the gas house. Three or two, two or three movies later, later, eight finally shows them. Shows them how they got got there. So Hoffman and John Kramer were doing it. They fixed it all up. But I like how they show, how they showed how Paul got into the food chain, the razor wire trap. I really wanted to know how Mark got into that room. How would he get into a closed off room, all with bricks, with numbers everywhere? It's just too confusing. And, um. What else? It would have been nicer if they included more of Bobby's past in Saw 3D. Cause I feel like all they did for his past was that one barking when he saw, when he and, him and Kale saw 
um, that one chick who was looking at her, not looking, talking about her experience in the so. And the survivor group. Um, what I noticed about the survivor group was there's an old lady that I've never noticed. Like, if you go and watch it back, and it shows, like, the shot from behind Bobby's head, like a third person view, there's an old lady with her eye like, pointing this way and her other eye facing Bobby. Like, what happened to that lady? Why is she in the survivor picture? Like, I don't remember an old lady like that except for in Joseph and Hanging. But, yeah. So basically, <coughs> oh, and also, I want to show, like, if that's how Jigsaw made a case, like in Top 4, to like, move you around and move it into that cave. Obviously, I'm not a mechanics person because I'm trying to figure out how he would slow down and make it so low, like. Yeah, and now I'm going to go on to the acting part. The actor that I believe did the most seriously like and the greatest. Costas Mandalorian. Uh, I don't know how, if that's how you say his name, but. That's how I believe he came in and he did a great job in the movie. I think that he was really hurt after the soccer ending and like the least best acting ever. Um the least acting I gotta go back in there. Rogers. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to get up, and you know how it said saw 3D? I wanted to be the 3D part of me, just get up, walk up, and suck him in the mouth, suck him in the mouth. Like, I didn't really think he deserved to get shot in the eye first. Like, I, I think that, also, um, Palmer, 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 so bad, man. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Like, why would you keep on the phone when you hear gunshots? Like, what the heck? And how would she not know that's kicking? Er, I'm hearing the police He said your name, man. <laughs> how would you not know that's kicking, man? I'm sorry, sir? <laughs> Gibson, 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 snap. I'm glad they killed her off. Oh, and also, another part that I would really like them to include. Who was that guy that, um, Hoffman killed? Well, there's three people that I don't know that he killed. One, that's the, that detective, the second guy he killed, because the first one was Dr. Dr. Hefner when he opened the zipper. He opened his eyes. Uh, nice skin, got up, turned to the back of the wall, turned up, and there was a guy who opened the door, and he died too. I want to know who that was, and I want to know who was opening the door and being Hoffman used it, and I want to know who that guy was who entered the door after seeing Palmer's eyes after opening the door, and I think. And then of course, Roger and I. I really like the effects that they did on the back of the cage when, when his eye got shot. Like, that was really cool. And also, um, hmm. Tobin, like, the down about the movie is that Tobin Bell barely, barely gets in the movie. Terry Owls is only in the beginning and the end of the movie. Um, and that all of the people that Bobby Tracy Chase died, like, in Saw 3. Just saved one person, next turn, he died. Um, hmm, let me think about this. Oh, also, 
I didn't like how the SWAT people died. Like poison? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me up. Me up, Um. Oh, everyone from the previous movie came back into the film, like, everyone but Adam, like, that made me angry, because Adam was a good guy, like, he was cool. But yeah, and basically that's it, and I gave Star 3D 4.5 stars, 4.5 stars out of 5. We would have done a lot of better if the questions, all, all of the questions were going to answer. But I don't think they're going to end it right here. I think they're going to continue it. And hopefully they don't go on like Final Destination. Because Final Destination, what they did, Final Destination, Final Destination 2, Final Destination 3, THE Final Destination, and Final Destination 5. <laughs> If all the things from five didn't even come out at the right time, like, it's supposed to be a horror movie, it's supposed to be scary, it's supposed to come out in October. It came out in August. Yeah. And that's it. So, I hope you liked it. Comment in the comments below, um, how many stars you rate it out of five or ten stars. And yeah.